Welcome back, Alf Hunters. Okay, the market is open for the final trading week of March, which is also the final trading week of Q1 of 2024. Let's see what's going on. Um, a little bit of gap down. You know, start off the week. Not, I mean, nothing major. Really wasn't. Um, I didn't really hit this uh, as we were closing Friday, as it was really fresh and I didn't really know fully anything to kind of talk about it, but uh, there was a terrorist event over there in Moscow, Russia, and didn't really know how that was going to impact the markets. So, uh, you know, not really knowing too much about what was going on, uh, you know, and then not really knowing how to, how to kind of talk about it as it was most likely going to impact the markets in some way. Uh, yeah, but, you know, we can give a little bit of talk about that. Uh, as I'm sure the market's moving a little bit from that, probably commodities markets are moving from that, as Russia is a big time commodities player, right? So you can see a pretty good gap down here, down a quarter percent to start the week. We haven't really done too much. We traded a little bit higher here in the first 40 minutes or so, but we've been, I mean, very sideways since. Very sideways since. So we haven't really done a whole lot. Q's, well, you can see the Q's are bouncing pretty good here. The Q's actually had a decent gap down here. So the Q's gap down about 0.6% there. Uh, you can see they, they've definitely traded higher, especially there in the first hour. Nice trade higher. A little bit of sideways, but a little bit of like an upward trend to it. Not, not a crazy upward trend. IWM actually gapped up. Bounced pretty strong there in the first 10. Uh, it's come back some. Yeah, there you go. That's, uh, that's IWM currently up 0.6%. The DIA looks like this thing is faded kind of throughout the day after it kind of gapped down i guess it really hasn't faded then so this thing gap down has kind of continued the direction of the gap not much of a gap 0.15 percent but has continued to kind of fall throughout the day nothing crazy currently down by 0.4 percent so if the cues are doing pretty good spies kind of flat from the open that means the all the other stocks are doing kind of bad throughout the day well yep kind of rsp kind of flat open not really too much of a gap here traded higher but it has definitely traded back lower uh, outside of that first 10 minute pop there. So that's kind of how the day's going. It's a pretty quiet day. Not much going on. Uh, VIX, take a look here at the VIX. Um, a little bit higher open. Expect that. Mondays usually open. You get the higher open from Friday's close. So that makes perfect sense. We are up a little bit on the VIX, but not from the open. So there you go, VIX. We'll see what happens. Not expecting great things, but hey, we'll just keep an eye on it. That's about it. DXY, currently down about 0.2%. Last week, it ended the week very strong. Could just be a resting day. Most likely it is, because Thursday and Friday was very strong. So DXY dollar index looking okay. Yeah, I mean, it just could be resting today. Uh, if it breaks, I mean, if it was to break down and break Friday, today or tomorrow eh, maybe we'll we would talk about maybe potentially rolling over but i don't think i don't think that'll happen gld gold trust nice little gap up here nice little gap up not really taking out friday's uh high too much it looks like we did trade briefly above it but that's about it Let's see what the gold futures are kind of doing um so yeah gold futures a little bit of a higher open there trading higher we do have a pretty good contract roll coming in for this neck uh, Wednesday. Wednesday morning we have contract roll. So currently the spot price is twenty one seventy five, I believe. And then you can see the second month contract, which is going to be the one we roll into on Wednesday, is trading about twenty points higher. So that's about where it was last week when we checked this. So there you go. So expect. Uh, at least the futures to have a $20 contract roll uh, coming up on Wednesday, Tuesday to Wednesday. 10 year yield, okay. So I kind of mentioned this as we closed last week. Yields, man, yields. I, they, they were showing some pretty good strength Wednesday, Thursday, even though we did wind up breaking down on Friday, they were not showing strength, but they weren't dropping off like you thought they were after, after they, like they would have or should have after what the Fed had said and did on Wednesday. 
at the FOMC meeting and the press conference. But we're getting that bounce back today. I said, watch out for this if we bounce back Monday, Tuesday. Not to say we're going to rip higher here on yields, but we're bouncing back pretty strong. Like, that's not really up for debate. That's a pretty good, strong bounce back today. Here's what it looks like intraday. You can see we've just kind of been climbing. It looked like even here the past hour looked like a pretty good climb higher. So if we continue to climb higher here today and tomorrow, I would, I would say definitely tomorrow. If you want to see that continuation higher tomorrow, get the follow through day, then you're probably talking about the second half of the week, probably just going to continue to push higher here on yields. And, you know, when we get to later in the week, we'll talk about that. But as for now, it looks like a pretty strong kind of bounce back day on yields. 10 2 inversion, just kind of in a zone, probably still consolidating, basing, probably starting an upward trend, but that's about it. HYG still in this sideways, horizontal kind of area it's been, it's been in for three months, three and a half months. It's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, it's sitting right on the 10 EMA. It's a good bounce spot. Um, that's about, I mean, that's about it. So, but if we, I mean, if we break down, I would just expect it to come down to at least the 50 EMA. But I, I mean, I wouldn't trade this. There's, I mean, it's a pretty narrow kind of spot here. So unless we get like a clear breakdown or breakout, I wouldn't, I wouldn't care to trade this. LQD, uh, nice, nice gap down, a little trade lower, kind of into that moving average area. Still haven't gotten through the moving averages though. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, there you go. LQD, bonds. Sure. Kind of just hanging out. Same thing with the TLT, a little bit of gap down, trade lower. Definitely going to, I mean, the most important level, I mean, even if we trade bearish here, it, it's going to be, it's going to be the recent lows over the past month that the TLT LQD kind of put in on the bond side. If they break those, I mean, most likely yields are popping higher and you're probably just going to look for the TLT to continue to drop off. So we'll see if that happens. But as for now, uh, I mean, it's just, it's a tough one. It's just a tough one. All right, check out this sector rotation for the day. And you, energies, XLE, I kind of mentioned probably going to see some movement in the commodity side, especially the energy side. That's where Russia has a, quite a bit of influence. Um, so that this might be from some of those terrorist activities that kind of what happened in Russia late in the day on Friday. So, anyways. Uh, you can see energy's up pretty good, about 1% up on the day. Definitely having a nice, strong outperformance day today. Utilities also outperforming. Materials doing pretty well. Discretionaries, real estate doing pretty good. Healthcare also outperforming. In line is financials. Underperformers, tech, staples, communications, industrials. Okay. So if we take out the gap, how does it look? Well, energy's not really doing all that great and tech is actually doing pretty good intraday it's just that that gap down we saw it on the queues yeah queues had a pretty good gap down but it was trading pretty good for most of the day uh so yeah outside of that gap down you know tech's actually doing pretty good today people back in buying and buying up the dip on tech utilities underperform everything else is underperforming so uh but yeah utilities communications discretionary materials energies financials health care real estate Industrials and staples have not traded all that well. So crude oil, yeah, crude oil is getting a little bit of a bounce. Uh, I mean, obviously this looks pretty good. You got the, the break higher, you got the pullback basically into the previous kind of high areas, right into the moving averages as well. Looks pretty good. I mean, I, I would expect it to go higher. Yeah, that's all I, that's all I got out there on crude oil. That makes sense. Uh, gasoline has definitely looked better. Um, especially ever since it had this contract role back in February, very, very strong look to it. Nice little sideways pullback into the moving averages that's coming up. Looks pretty good there. Not as strong, like holding, holding the body up today as, uh, crude oil, as we saw in crude oil, but heating oil also not really holding that body up as, as much pretty large. Got a pretty good upper wick there on heating oil. This thing is also going to have contract roll on Thursday. So Wednesday to Thursday, this thing will have contract roll there on heating oil. 
and uh, yeah, that's kind of how the commodities look. Um, I guess coming off of that that Russian terrorist event, I believe there was a headline. Oh yeah, so Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun is going to step down, which is kind of interesting because as we look at Boeing, well, we talked about that literally last week. Uh, He's been there since, I think what we saw was he's been there since 2019. And yeah, I mean, it's the ship was his. It's like all these issues that they're having, they've had over the past year with uh, their ships. I mean, doors falling off, panels falling off, latches not staying secured during flight. Uh, I mean, that I mean, that's all under his CEO kind of tenureship, like. That's enough time to kind of get in there and, you know, manufacturing policies and procedures are under you at that point in time. So, um, not shocked, not shocked by the news about that.